Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Father Michael, along with the rest of the team gathered here in the chapel. Welcome to the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 26, You Know My Heart You know my heart, O God, and all its hidden caverns. I can open my whole self to you. You know when I trust and when I falter, where I walk faithfully and where I fritter away my life. You know how I fool myself, keep bad company, and protest my innocence. May I come to you anyway. May I sing my thanksgiving and enjoy your worship. Though I'm a long way from perfect, a long way from mature, a long way from good, you know my heart, O God, and I would make it whole, open to you, and sing your praises. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Really, Lord, you will be with me wherever I go? Sometimes it can be hard to believe. Sometimes we don't feel God with us or recognize his presence among us, and we're afraid. We can get discouraged. You see, there's a popular prayer by a Jesuit priest, Pierre Teilhard de Chardin, that comes to mind whenever I have trouble trusting that God is really here, especially in the hard times. Many days I find myself saying this prayer as my morning offering because it so accurately puts to words where I find my heart. I'm not sure if anyone else can identify with this, but I get a little anxious when I can't see the next step or the big picture of where I'm headed. You see, I'm a recovering perfectionist, and I've been working on letting go of my need for control. And certain lines from this prayer help me to center myself and let go. Calming any anxieties and making the choice to trust in God. So let's reflect with this prayer. Above all, trust in the slow work of God. We are quite naturally impatient in everything, to reach the end without delay. We should like to skip the immediate stages. We are impatient of being on the way to something unknown, something new, And yet, it is the law of all progress, that it is made by passing through some stages of instability, and that it may take a very long time. And so I think it is with you. Your ideas mature gradually. Let them grow. Let them shape themselves without undue haste. Don't try to force them on, as though you could be today, what time, that is to say grace and circumstances acting on your own goodwill, will make of you tomorrow. Only God could say what this new spirit gradually forming within you will be. Give our Lord the benefit of believing that his hand is leading you, and accept the anxiety of feeling yourself in suspense and incomplete. Amen. Trust in the slow work of God. This requires so much patience, waiting, longing, hungering, 
It's kind of funny that I think God's work is slow when God is beyond time. Maybe God's work isn't slow. Perhaps I'm moving too fast, and I'm the one who needs to slow down. Maybe that's why I feel God's presence is absent, because I'm absent. Give our Lord the benefit of believing that His hand is leading you. Sometimes we have to wander in the darkness for a while. But the more rooted we are in our relationship with God, the steadier our steps become, and the road becomes more clear. Accept the anxiety of feeling yourself in suspense and incomplete. (laughs) This last line hits me hard every time. My truest, deepest self is beyond any feelings of suspense and incompleteness. But too often, pressures and expectations I place on myself cloud that truth. I am fully alive. I am truly myself when I live in God's grace and slow down enough to trust in the work of God, especially when it feels so slow. So what lines from this prayer touch your heart? Let us use this prayer as a reminder that we are all a work in progress and are invited to enter into this journey of becoming, this journey that we call life. So do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, help me to trust in your presence in my life. Be there for me. Help me to remember that you are with us always and that I need not be afraid. Even when it's difficult for me to believe and remember. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks everyone for praying with us today. Be good to yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.